Now, Tony Casino may be one of the smaller junior heavyweights, but just ask Vince Kaplack back east just how effective is he, he is as Tony Kazina unceremoniously stripped him just a short while ago of the NWA World Junior Heavyweight title. And then right after that, he made several more defenses, and now he's got this one. He's a fighting champion, that's for sure. But I give Disco Fury credit. He'll take on the challenge of anybody, and this is one challenge he's not backing down from. Now, Disco Fury himself is a former NWA Pacific Northwest Junior Heavyweight a champion. Tony Casino. Exactly. That puts an interesting spin on this matchup, and I'm going to be watching it very closely. Referee calls for a break. Casino gives him one. Yeah, it was a little short, though, on the time now. I think it was more like about almost a five count there. They tie up, collar and elbow. Casino shoots the arm, takes him down. That's almost an amateur style or judo style throw by Tony Casino. Gonna have to beat him any way he can get him, and this is probably the best way. Just wear that man down. Casino with the whip off the ropes. Tony Casino reverses the head toss with the Mexican arm drag. Just look at that stretch that he's got on him there. He's really talking on the arm bar there as Disco gets into the ropes. That of course constitutes a break in professional wrestling. Now that was a, that was unnecessary right there. There was no reason for him to stop in the face. It was a break. Now what we have here is a perfect example of the NWA tradition style of Tony Kazina against the more extreme hardcore style of uh, the glamour order of discipline of which Disco Fury is a protege. Big chop in the corner by Disco. More of an insulting move than a damaging one. And he's paying for it. Kazina Makes him pay the piper. Irish whip into the corner. Reversal by Disco. Kazina hits with an incredible amount of force, Bulldog. Fury hit through him so hard he slipped himself, and, and Kazina just took it face first in the buckle. They're both in, in really bad shape right here. Now, ever in your time in the ring, Bulldog, did you ever hit the ring, the, the corner with such velocity? I have, and I'll tell you what, I never got up from it. And Kazina got up. Scoop it a slam by Disco Fury. He's heading upstairs. That's where he does a lot of damage. That's a long distance flight right there. He could be going for the disco ball. High flying missile drop kick by Disco Fury. You know, he was an amateur wrestling star. He was a representative of British Columbia around the world in amateur wrestling meets. And he also has an incredible array of professional skills as well as he right now has one better on Tony Kazina. To my knowledge, he is the youngest man to ever hold the NWA Pacific Northwest Junior title. Look out, look out. Where are the decks, people? Disco Fury sizing up his man. Disco hits the mirror ball. Unbelievable move. Up. Unbelievable move by Disco. Took an incredible amount of damage himself to execute it, but he hit it on Tony Kazina. And you gotta wonder, is Kazina done like dinner? Well, Fury just threw him back on the floor again. Here he goes again. Disco drops hard on Kazina. Yo, I I'm looking at the referee. He's just he's just dumbfounded. I'm sorry for the fans here are standing. They they can't believe what they're seeing. This is what you find every time in U.S. Minster at the Eagles Hall. Foot on the ropes. Referee catches it. Of course, Bulldog, but a wrestler puts his feet on the ropes. It's like being out of bounds. I've never football. done that. I've never done that. I didn't see that with Disco Fury. He had a clean pin right there. I couldn't tell, Bulldog. Were you wearing your prescription lenses this evening? I that referee made a slow count once again. You know, Fury got screwed twice. Disco with a handful of hair takes Casino into the corner. I'm taking a look at Tornado Tony Casino. Oh, wait a minute. He's coming back now. I thought he was done for. There we go. Back on it, Fury. Bulldog Bob Brown Jr. likes what he sees as Disco Fury buries it 
a boot deep in the throat of Tony Kazina, trying to cut off the windpipe. A man after my own heart, I'll tell you. I almost forgot there for a moment that the man sitting next to me is one of the most devious players in the game. I call as I see him. Kazina hot into the corner. Big splash in the corner by Disco Fury. He just gave that back another good push into the turnbuckle. It wasn't bad enough the first time. He got him the second time. One, two, referee. Vern Siebert only gets to two before the count is broken. Disco working on the midsection of Kazina. Another Irish whip, a reversal by Kazina. Up and over goes Disco. What agility. Able to maintain his balance and a drop kick to the back of the head. Sends Disco right to the floor. Fury not only hit the floor with, a, with an incredible velocity, but Kazina now is going to get him again. And what a splat as Disco hit. And what a smack as Tony Kazina chops down Disco Fury. Right there in the front row. That's why they call it the danger zone. Tony Kazina taking the fight to the floor, taking the fight, using a chair to Disco Fury. Both men wary to get in the ring. Kazina winning the foot race thus far. It's close. Frankensteiner into the ring by Tony Kazina. Unbelievable. Put on Kenrana. And Disco escapes. Unbelievable reverse victory roll by Tony Kazina, that Frankenstein. I'm amazed every time that Kazina gets in that ring because he's certainly got an incredible array of, of weapons to use, and that was one I've never seen before. It's almost like he makes them up as he's going along. He's an innovator of high-impact offense and a big suplex. Plants Disco Fury. Tony going to the second rope. Drops the elbow. Nicely done. And Disco escapes. Disco showing us a lot here in the guts department. And the pained expression on his face just tells you he's been through a war. And then some. This is an absolute brawl between these two. Huron can run. Wait, reversal by Disco. Tony you know, just... That move right there was the very move that Disco Fury won that title with. And he almost got him again. And Tony Kazina, that Huron can run from the top rope. That's his go-to. That's his finisher. And Disco Fury had a well-scouted, reversed it into the sunset flip, and almost pulled up an ups off an upset and became the new NWA World Junior Heavyweight Champion. Tony Kazina back in charge with a swinging neck breaker. Two count by it's referee Bunsen. Not enough. You have to do a lot more. Remember, Disco Fury's held a title before. He's not an easy man to beat. Not an easy match on both men, to say the least. Spitting heel kick by Tony Kazina. He had the double leg overhook, did not get the pin with it, however. This match, cardiovascularly, has to be taking his toll on both men, but more so Disco Fury, as he's been the blunt of quite a bit of offense over the last couple of minutes. And that's why he's taking it right in the rope right there. He's going to try and cut off a little bit of that oxygen. He's got a counter five to break the hold. And when he does, by that time, Tony Cassini has lost that five seconds. That's a smart move in the part of Disco Fury. Disco going for the throat, going for the choke. That's going to slow down even the biggest of men right there. Suplex, nicely applied by Disco Fury. If there's a textbook on wrestling, that would be in it. Now, I think both of them have read it inside and out, cover to cover, and then some. I think they've even added a page or two. Unbelievable slingshot into the corner, the top turnbuckle by Disco Fury. Disco. Playing to the crowd. This could be a bad move by Bulldog Bob Brown Jr. Far too much time. Going back to town on Tony Kazina. Oh, wait a minute. Now he's got him. Perhaps pile driver. Kazina blocks. Back body drop. Disco Fury goes over. He hit with a lot of force, Bulldog. He hit big time. 
Big shot by Tony Cusino. Oh, look at the fire in Tony's eyes. He is ready for him. But he sort of got caught a little bit. Both men feeling the effects of this incredible... Oh! oh! Disco came off the top rope. Tony Cusino catches him with a drop kick. Oh, he's, oh, look at that. There's the move right there. He's just really, really... Cusino, I believe, has had about enough. You can say that. Oh, he's got him in the tombstone. He oh! drives him. Impactful tombstone compresses the vertebrae. But he's not done. He's going upstairs, and it looks like he's ready to finish him off. 450 splash by the tornado. And this one is in the history books. And it will stay up the winner. And still, wait a minute. Here come the G.O.D. Star and Canuck have hit the ring with the garbage can. I just realized Kazina is a wrestler that represents Commissioner Dave Republic. They got one of Dave's guys all along. And we all saw what happened last week. I just turned away for half a second. I can't believe what happened. The G.O.D. just came in there and attacked him. Two on one. Last week as we left the show, the G.O.D. really took it to Dave Republic and his niece, Buffy. And now they've got another one of his wrestlers basically at their bidding. Garbage can to the back of Tony Cusino. Which is King Disco Fury knew. He knew very well that Tony Cusino had to be caught a lesson. Wait a minute. Disco Fury, with the assistance of Johnny Canuck, putting a table in the ring. Well, this doesn't look very good. They got three guys in there. Tony Cusino is all by himself. There's nobody around. This is how we left the program last week, Bulldog. They put Buffy through a table in much the same manner as it looks like they're setting up Tony Cazina for. And who's going to stay if there's nobody around to help him out? Oh, no. They've got Cazina. Wait a minute. <laughs> Super Bomb! You can't tell me that that does not send a message. The glamour order of discipline. Lover boy Johnny, gorgeous Michelle, and Disco Fury. I just what? Here's Dave Republic. Hold on. Let's see if we can pick this up. Dave is not happy. Wait a minute. We got a foot chase. Dave Republic came out here, rose the ire, and it looks like the glamour order of discipline are giving chase and taking off, taking off after uh, Dave Republic. Wait a minute, that's Dave Republic, and he's being loaded into a limo by the high five and white boys. The G.O.D. just maybe a step too many behind. We've got a camera crew following them. You see them making their way through the lobby out onto the street. Bulldog Bob Brown Jr. is also joined in the chase. You see Dave Republic in that waiting limo leaving downtown New Westminster. Let's take a look one more time. That super bomb on Tony Kazina. There you see the aftermath. It looks like the tornado has been through a tornado. Wait a minute. The G.O.D. have Buffy. I can, I don't, I can only imagine that perhaps in his haste to get away, to flee from the scene, Dave Republic forgot about Buffy and now the G.O.D. have her and it looks, uh, not sure where they're going. We're going to keep our camera crew on them, but Tony Kazina, he's moving as a very good sign. He took a hellacious bump through that table. As we see the G.O.D., it looks like they're heading back to the locker room area. They're heading down that corridor that leads to the locker room. Tony Kazina being helped from the ring by a couple of our ring attendants. Meanwhile, Buffy being dragged back to the dressing room area. I can only imagine what the G.O.D. have planned for her there. Tony Kazina put through that table making his way back to the dressing room himself 
Let's try and pick up backstage what's going on. They're locking her into a bathroom, it looks like. Let's keep our camera back there, fellas. Republic, this is a message to what can happen to you, Republic. You're going for a deal with us, Republic. It's streams, wrestling, it's where it's at. And you're good for nothing, Nice. Is it going to screw us over? 